Hello everyone, this is White Cow. Nice to meet you. Today, I will introduce a GUI tool that allows you to create animations with prompts. It's called Easy Prompt Animation, and just as the name suggests, you will install this GUI tool on your personal computer. Proceed with reference to the GitHub page. Here, caution is necessary. You might think you should start by cloning the entire repository as usual. But that was not the case. The correct approach is to download the batch file located inside the SRC, as shown in the video. This file is exclusive to Windows and, unfortunately, it contains commands that cannot be used on Linux. Save the downloaded batch file in a location that is easy to find. Here, we will create a folder called anime on the C drive. It is noted on GitHub to use only alphanumeric characters for the folder name. Move the batch file to the folder you created. Let's look inside the batch file and explain what it does. You don't necessarily need to remember the commands themselves, but it's better to understand what they mean. If the GitHub page is updated in the future, this information may no longer be applicable. It will take about 20 seconds to explain. Please wait a moment. Now that I understand the steps the file will execute, I will double click it to run. Since it's not doing anything suspicious, I will click on more info and run it. Running another batch file within a batch file may take longer than expected. It took about 7 minutes for the program to start on my computer. I've successfully condensed it by skillfully using fast forward and cuts. You will be able to see the entire process. So please wait for a while. The program has started successfully. The issue is whether the animation can be created successfully. This is because it includes the animate diff prompt travel repository. And according to the installation instructions, PyTorch that supports CUDA 11.8 is required. When you want to create an animation of any kind, simply click the Create Animation button. The initial prompt is of a single maid waving her hand in a crowd. The model was set to live action by default, but it seems that you can also add more models. Then, let's try to create it. It seems there are initial settings. As a screen is displayed as shown in the video, it may take some time, but the created animation will appear shortly. Please wait a moment. I found out later that the animation is 3 seconds long. Even with the same prompt, a different animation will be created. I tried creating 3 animations using the same prompt. I will try modifying the prompt a bit. Currently, there are only two models available. But I will try changing to a model with an anime style. Additionally, I will set the playback time to be longer. There are still many settings that I have not yet fully understood. Creating an animation with these settings produced the animation that was introduced at the beginning. I also tried creating a dog animation, but it didn't turn out very well. Perhaps because the model wasn't quite right. This time, I downloaded a model and tried to create an animation with it.
to launch the program for the second time and beyond, execute the batch file shown in the video. If you don't understand Japanese, there is another method available. Prepare a screenshot and use OCR software to convert it into text for translation. This is a method I often use when I have an image with foreign language text, and I want to obtain the text. You can also do this easily with OneNote. So I recommend everyone to try it. Nowadays, there are high-precision OCR software options available. So you shouldn't have any trouble. I use foreign software without much feeling the language barrier. Thanks to these tools. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.